Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Bailey here. I post digital marketing related videos from time to time. If you are interested in getting into the media industry and learning more about media buying, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Today, I want to talk about ad servers. What is an ad server? An ad server is the advertising technology that enables the management, serving, and tracking of an ad. An ad server decides in real time the best ad to serve based on relevancy, targeting, and other criteria. In a typical ad buying scenario from the buy side, advertisers would create tags for each of the creative in their ad servers and provide them to publishers. According to IAB, a tag is a code that an advertiser provides to a publisher or network that calls the advertiser's ad server and is used for displaying an ad. There are two types of ad servers, first party and third party. First party ad servers are usually used by publishers to serve and manage ads appearing on their site for both direct and programmatic campaigns. They decide which creative asset should be displayed in an ad slot based on audience targeting data. An ad server would usually fill the ad slots with ads from direct campaigns first, then the programmatic campaigns. Third-party ad servers are usually used by advertisers to manage creatives. It serves, tracks, and monitors ads as they appear on publishers' sites. It is mostly used only to collect campaign data and verify certain metrics such as impressions, clicks, and viewability. Although the use of ad servers might be different between publishers and advertisers, the technology involved was similar. As I'm not familiar with the ad servers on publisher's site, today's session will be focused more on the advertiser side. According to IAB, the purpose of ad servers is to deliver ads to users, manage the advertising space of a website, and in the case of third-party ad servers, provide an independent counting and tracking system for advertisers or marketers. Using a centralized ad server enables advertisers to have progress reports on demand and update creative contents in one place rather than using multiple servers with different publishers. According to this definition, there are two very important features of an ad server, creative management and tracking and verification. You can definitely use the platform for something else, but these are the two essentials. Creative management. This includes the ability to traffic multiple creatives under the same tag, set desired ad rotations, and implement creative swap. What I tend to do is to traffic the creatives with the same size under the same placement and rotate them evenly. If needed, you can also set one or more creatives to be served more often than others and how often you want your creative to be served. A lot of time around the holiday period, we would get holiday specific creatives and only run it for a couple days. In that case, you can set the end dates of your regular creative and rotate in your holiday creative with a start and end dates. All of these can be done prior to the holidays and without sending a new tax to publishers. Tracking and verification. Ad servers help advertisers track their ads as they appear on the World Wide Web. This not only allows centralized reporting, measures the reach of a campaign while taking into account co-viewership across publishers, but also help advertisers to verify the basic reporting metrics provided by publishers. Ad servers would also provide an internal ad viewability tracking tool or it could integrate with third-party tracking tools if needed. One thing to keep in mind is that the data discrepancy across platforms are inevitable. Usually, a 5% discrepancy is considered as normal. This offers a level of transparency between advertisers and publishers. That's it for today's video. If my video is helpful to you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. I will continue to post more digital marketing related videos in the future. Alright, I'll see you next time.